Well, that passage of Timaeus <coughs> shows why some people say that Plato is the, uh, that Christianity is uh, Platonism for the masses because it's very familiar. But anyway, I, as far as the supernatural, superior nature kind of thing, uh, I'm fine with that. It's just, yeah, it's of this world, you know. Um, there could be a god, but it would be of this world. It would have laws of physics that we could, in principle, detect if it's no uh, law of physics we've discovered yet, or if it's a million years from discovering and we'll not ever be bright enough to discover it, or whatever, but it'll be if something physically interacting with us. And I doubt there is anything totally undiscoverable in the life of the universe. I mean, we're still evolving. We'll evolve the mental organs to understand it if we need to because it's affecting us and our evolution, you know, wraps around that. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not at all. This is not an argument against. I've said this several times in this discussion against things like, you know, even ghosts. It's just that they would have a physical explanation. You know, there'd be some sort of a ghost meter would be possible to build or some way of measuring and seeing the physical impact because if you see an image that's a physical impact there's either light hitting your retinas or something's making an image form you know it's taking energy uh, in your brain something is causing that because you, it's there you know that's <laughs> that's a physical interaction so there's some way that it has a physical result so it's physical you know, energy, photons, you know, uh, they're out there, can you really say, well, but they're physical because they have physical effects, things that, if something happens to something else, then those things both exist in that space in which it happens. So, um, so yeah.